Close your eyes and watch the breath. Feel the breath all the way in, all the way out. Allow your mind to settle down right here and see if you can stay right here. Getting here is not hard. The breath is very close by. It's staying that makes the difference. And we're trying to make a difference in the mind. Because the mind is subject to diseases. You could say there are diseases going around. And it's true all the time that the diseases of the mind is greed, aversion, and delusion. Those are the three big ones. And there's no vaccine for them. The only medicine is the Buddha's medicine. It starts with generosity, virtue, meditation. Generosity helps to weaken your greed. Virtue helps to weaken your greed and your aversion. But it's the meditation that basically makes you impervious to diseases. In other words, you build up your resistance so that no matter how many other people come around you or swarming with germs of greed, aversion, and delusion, you're not going to pick any up. Because the problem is we already have these germs within us, and they would meet with other people who are suffering from the symptoms. We often pick up the symptoms from them. Some come, someone comes at us with a lot of aversion, and we respond with a lot of aversion. The same with delusion, the same with greed. And we have to learn how to live in a world where these germs are swirling around all the time. But we don't pick them up, so we build up our resistance. We think about the goodness that comes, not from getting, getting, getting things, but from learning how to give things away, learning how to let go. And generosity starts with giving material things away, but then you learn you can also give your knowledge, give your time, give your strength, give your forgiveness. These things are also valuable to give, and the more you give them away, the more you have. With virtue, you learn how to look at your impulses to act on greed and aversion. And you ask yourself, why? That there are going to be long-term problems down the line. It's this ability to look for the long-term. That's the beginning of wisdom. And then you go for the real long-term when you start to meditate. This is where you get your mind under control. Because that's the whole purpose of generosity and virtue, is to start you focusing in on your mind. As you, with your generosity, you may, may be part of the mind that doesn't want to give. Well, you have to learn how to argue with that. With virtue, there's a part of the mind that likes to forget. You know that it's wrong to kill and, and steal and to say things that are false, but then you go ahead and do it. A lack of alertness, a lack of mindfulness. In order to preserve the precepts, you have to develop these qualities in the mind. You have to learn how to look at your intentions to make sure that your intentions are good. Because if you break the precept unintentionally, it doesn't count as breaking the precept. It's only when you do it intentionally that it really matters. So the focus is more and more on the mind. And then we get to the meditation, we're focusing directly on your mind, trying to keep it under control, noticing when it doesn't do what you want it to do. And you can ask why, what's, what's pulling you away? And at first the mind is not going to be all that honest about what's pulling it away. But if you learn how to stay really firmly here and you're really alert and you're really mindful, you begin to see. And once you see, then you can do something about it. Use the Buddha's, borrow the Buddha's wisdom and the different ways of looking at your defilements so you can get a sense that you really don't want to get involved with them anymore. And then you put them down. That's when it's your discernment that's put them down. And then no matter how many germs there may be around you, you're not going to pick them up. Your resistance is good. So we live in a world that's flooded with diseases. And if our mind is not trained, it's going to pick up those diseases very easily. But if you learn how to train it, then you can put up resistance. And that way you stay healthy and safe.